Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. Have a good day. How's everybody doing today? Today is uh, January of uh, 2023. Stopping at Home Depot. Uh, actually picking up some concrete, uh, fiber reinforced concrete. I'm not in that section right now. It's uh, one row over. Uh, gonna do a masonry crown overlay. I've got two sections of flue tile in my truck and I thought I'd swing by the cap section because I wanted to do a, a quick narrative. I'm at Home Depot. I, I do a lot of shopping at Home Depot. Uh, a week ago I went to Lowe's and I was not too pleased. They had nobody up front to wait on you. Basically if you wanted to check out at Lowe's, at least here in Katy, you had a do self checkout. You really didn't have any other options, which kind of sucks because I don't want to have to self checkout. Uh, that's <laughs> I'm not a checker. It's not my job. But anyways, Home Depot, even though most of their aisles are self checkout, they still have people that will wait on you, which is an appropriate thing. If you're in the in this type of business, you need to have people up front to wait on their customers, and once again, their customers. Uh, I'm at the section right now of chimney caps there are two two style of caps here and this is the style that i use all the time but what i wanted to point out to you is look at the pricing of this this is uh, 56 something uh 58 something i mean within the same range before covid started uh, these caps were 29 dollars to 31 dollars they've almost doubled in price at home depot so when you have a uh, chimney company or and this is galvanized mind you can't compare galvanized with stainless because prices are different but when you have a chimney company that's actually talking to you and telling you that they're going to charge you uh, to bring out a cap and install it etc and they're telling you 175 200 dollars uh, 250 dollars that is not unreasonable because the cost of the cap material wise picking it up everything else has gone up almost doubled in price I'm pointing the other way, sir. Uh, so anyways, that is not unreasonable. When I first started, the installation, including the cap, was 100 bucks. But man, that was 25 years ago. Now, right now, I think I'm charging the 165 which includes the cap, and installing it. So I'm basically giving the cap away and putting it on for 100 bucks, which is probably too cheap. I probably need to go up on that, uh, especially depending upon if I'm pre-drilling into the clay flue tile to get it to attach. Something to be aware of. It's not an outrageous price. Uh, these caps are satisfactory for what they are. They're galvanized metal. They'll generally last about 10 to 15 years. Uh, number one thing that needs to be done over at some point in time is the lid, which is this section right here will oxidize and it'll start rusting out. So if you go out and put slap on some uh, enamel paint every five or six years, it'll last indefinitely. These things uh, are pretty hardy. Uh, additionally, they're rated for about 45 to 55 mile an hour wind shears. Uh, tornadoes, hurricane situations will take chimney caps off. That's just the nature of the beast. You can't get around that. Those are called in the insurance par parlance, acts of God. Acts of God, God trumps all. <laughs> so be aware of that. Uh, just a quick narrative on the Home Depot uh, style of cap that I use a lot. I do I do buy chimney caps through a National Chimney Supply House. Typically, I'm looking at stainless or different configurations. But for your, your standard 13 by 13 chimney caps, these are satisfactory. They're pretty easy to work with. They're pretty easy to attach. The one big thing is you've got to have the flue tile. If you can see here, this is a picture of flue tile where it's extending above the masonry crown. Your flue tile needs to extend to attach these chimney caps because the base of these chimney caps attach directly onto the clay flue tile. Uh, this is Eric Sturm. Please like and subscribe. We'll be back with you uh, later on in the day as we're doing the masonry repair.